The Music City is about to get a whole lot quieter. Nashville shutting its doors of the Musicians Hall of Fame under eminent domain. How could this happen? The museum's owners next. Meanwhile, it's home to priceless pieces of music history from some of the biggest artists and songs of all time. But now, the city of Nashville has seized the museum property in order to expand a convention center. The owner has been given a week to clear out the 30,000 square feet of instruments and artifacts with nowhere to go. Is this legal? Join us right now from Nashville is Joe Chambers, the founder and chief executive of the Musicians Hall of Fame and Museum. Joe, thanks for joining us. Uh, thank you. So Joe, uh, it was just a couple of years ago you decided, hey, I found a good location to put my place. Did anybody tell you that we are thinking from the city that we're thinking about using that land where you eventually located for uh, to expand the convention center did anybody tell you that actually uh, we put money on the property in 2003 and we opened we spent uh, a few years uh, uh, totally renovating the building right and then we opened to the public uh, June of 06 but apparently the city had had its eye on that particular piece of property for a long time, but nobody told you that the land that you were moving into, uh, they might grab by eminent domain, right? No, no, I met with the previous mayor, um, and and he knew, you know, the, actually he cut the ribbon at the, uh, and never mentioned a word about it. You know? Oh, that's awful. So anyway, you're pretty much, uh, uh, packed up and you're ready to go. Uh, the big question is where exactly? What sort of an offer did the city make you for your property? Well, we um, we ha we hired the same appraiser that the the Pinnacle Bank here in Nashville um, hired when we first bought the property back in '03. Right. And we had them come back since they knew it. They were familiar with it from the, for, before we ever started working on it. Right. And we had them re reappraise it. And they appraised it at uh, the replacement cost. Now, that's keeping it within the, the tourist that's boundary right. of, of where we're located now uh, at $8.9 million. Now, the city's uh, appraiser appraised it as if, if we wanted to, you know, to sell it at, at $4.8 million. Oh, man. So, essentially, they're offering you half what it's worth. All right. Judge Andrew Napolitano, our uh, senior judicial analyst, joins us live. He's in a tough spot. Well, he's in a tough spot, and what the government has done to him is absolutely unconstitutional. I mean, the federal law, never mind what a local Tennessee state judge wants to do, the federal law is the government has to pay you dollar for dollar for all your losses. Right. That means not only the loss of the dirt, the earth, not only the loss of the building, not only the loss of the contents, but the loss of the business and the cost to move your business to a new place. The replacement cost. What he's talking Correct. about, close he, to $9 million, they're only going to give him 4 He's something. getting half of what, he should, of what he should be getting. He should appeal it, or he should bring an action in federal court to to stop this destruction of his private property rights. Joe, did you have any imagination, did you have any inclination that the local government could do that to you and your business? Uh, well, no. I mean, we had no reason to think that, you know. I mean, this is a music city. We're building a, a tourist attraction. Uh, and not only that, an educational facility. Uh, you know, we taught uh, guitar, sure. piano lessons, and so forth. And um, it was, um, you know, we had people coming in from all over the world mm -hmm. uh, to see this, and, and it's gone now. Yeah, I know, and it's all in boxes. Judge, it's a cautionary tale. The it, government has got these powers where they can take anybody's land at any time. It goes back to the, to the founders. Jefferson argued there should be, should be no such thing as eminent domain. If the government wants to buy your, your property, it has to be voluntary, not by force. He lost that argument, and people are still suffering because of it today. But he should get the full replacement of close to $9 he million. absolutely should, and if he can't get it from a Tennessee state judge, he should go to a federal, uh, federal court and make an application there. Good luck to you. Uh, indeed. Uh, Joe thank Chambers, you. the founder of the Musicians Hall of Fame out there in Nashville. Joe, thank you very much for joining us. And Judge Andrew thank Napolitano, you. always a pleasure. Pleasure, Steve. Thank you very much.